this setup, as you can see, does not look good. I can explain why. I have a G9 Neo. Currently, I don't have a G9 Neo. So what occurred is my G9 Neo on the 5th day of ownership from the return policy so that means the 25th day of ownership around there basically i had uh two dead pixels develop and then around five to seven cluster develop on the left side of the panel and it's a good monitor the problem is when you use that you can't go back to an ips panel this panel is like 800 dollars or whatever and yeah it goes on sale for like 750 or whatever you know but like i'm gonna be honest bro like i don't know where the 750 dollars value in this is like it's 1440p nano ips and 240 hertz but like bro it's not um uh, i don't know what to say like the people who bought a neo like they know what i'm saying and like it just looks really good there's nothing i can say so anyway we are here today because i'm going to be installing windows 11 and i have my flash drive ready so we're going to reboot this pc i think everything is honestly done like i backed up think everything i'm gonna wipe both my nvme drives and we're gonna have a clean start my other one just has like honestly nothing on it there's like the rise install there's nothing backed up all the files documents password stuff like trying to have it all set up on my nas so i can always reinstall windows if needed but yeah we're going to hit restart and then i'm gonna have to redo my overclock as well um, I'm going to be doing adaptive voltage instead of running this, uh, my password manager. Don't look. I don't want to edit this. It's a pain. It, it saved it. Okay. Doing a windows update. So like I said, I'm going to be putting this on adaptive voltage. It's better for a long-term daily overclock. Pretty much it. I have no idea how all the future Alder Lake stuff will perform. I do have one. I could set this up, but I don't have any motherboard. So we're just going to set this aside, but I need to figure out what RAM to buy and what motherboard. And then I had a lot of Gen 4 riser issues on AMD, so I don't want to have any riser issues on this. I know running in Gen 4 mode should be fine. I'm just uh, not looking forward to what is to come. But now I'm going to try to get into the BIOS, and then we're going to wipe the whole thing and install Windows 11. I'm hoping that the USB with Windows installation create media was good enough that it can boot off the USB, because I do not want to... Uh, I have to do the Rufus method. This is gonna be the stock Windows 11 build. I won't be running a de bloated stripped version. This uh, PC is not restarting. I thought about going ATX because we have to get bigger power supplies for the new cards and all that, but I would have to compromise my ability to move my entire system to my cousin's house, go to my, uh, go play VR, other rooms, you know, do whatever. So I'm not gonna do that, I'm not compromising. At any time, if I decide to quit overclocking this hard i could always just go back to a tinier build you know there is diminishing returns after a certain point and having a uh a 240 millimeter aio and you know a 30 slot gpu that's pretty good man you know and i'm really liking this new t1 you know that fit perfect right there and it would look nice on the desk with a vertical stand or i could shove it underneath the desk you know and do the optimum tech thing you know, where he has a little mount. I don't know. You know, that would be quieter, you know? It would be cool. A vertical stand. I could have it here and then have it horizontal when I take it with my portable monitor. I'm, I didn't expect to get so busy. I thought I would be able to do all the videos and everything. It's just, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows it's been a lot of stuff happening. Uh, last year and all that it's, it's just a lot so i would rather dedicate the time to working on new hobbies just i want to get good at video editing i know i don't do a good job i don't like running off a script i bought a software just to edit all this now uh it cuts out all the ums buts us everything i do i mean i spent like 250 on that but that's the only way i can get it out and the same thing with the, the website never happened you know i need a proper solution got a mac just for a stable computer when i'm working on this i can't have a computer down it's just not possible anymore in my way of life like I need stuff that works so i'm gonna set this bios to default this bios is uh does not have rebar not like rebar does anything um trying to figure out how to reset it for some reason, my brain doesn't know how to do that. Uh, what 
the heck is wrong with me? I'm trying to figure out how to reset, like, the entire BIOS, but for some reason my brain can't do that for default or optimize default okay there yeah sorry about that that was uh quite difficult for my brain i didn't remember how to do it i should say it's not quite difficult but anyway um xmp is fine i can load that that should be fine i want to mess around with the core stuff when the adaptive voltage myself but xmp should work fine the only problem is the ram xmp is a little high so I'm going to set the SA and IO myself, just so it doesn't do anything bad. 1.35, 1.3, that should be safe. 1.35, 1.3, yeah, that should be fine. Should be. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, let's just run that. It should be stable. I can work on it later. ELL, 1.2, I'll do all that stuff later. And then for MSI board, BCC Sense, and then I'll play with the LLC stuff later. But everything should be good ram is on xmp turn on lucky mode it's an msi board you gotta get lucky for lucky all core everything is on default auto blah 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 core ratio all core or turbo ratio offset yep and then this one does top two cores five three top three cores five one four, four cores four to five cores load five zero all core load Four, nine. Oh, you literally just click offset value increase that by one or two. Oh, that's cool. I actually have silicon lottery photo for this. I'm trying to remember where I put it. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, we're back. I am removing the overclock stuff, just XMP, making sure the SA and the IO isn't too high. Other than that, I'll mess with the core stuff later. I don't wanna mess up the Windows install. So on the MSI board, you have to drag over the USB, I have a few plugged in right now, but I know that my Windows install is the SanDisk, so that's the one I'm going to have post first, and then it'll boot Windows off of it. There's no way to, like, do it on the Asus one, where, you know, you just select that one, boot into it immediately, so we're going to just look at all of the settings to removing. Okay. It should be good. Oh, okay. I guess it cut out. My bad. Yeah, so it's it's doing the, uh, should do the Windows 11 boot. Yeah, we're gonna do a uh, Windows 11 setup though. You know, nothing's changed. I need a better wide angle. I don't have a product key. No, I do have a product key, but I'm not like hooking that up. So Windows 11 Pro, not doing home. This, this is like fully like base, like you know, what normal people have. So I'm gonna get, this computer can't run Windows 11. We don't have system. Oh, I didn't enable TPM, shit. I forgot. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm gonna have to reboot this now. Shift. Is there a way out of this or a way out? To install, you cancel your PC or restart area. Okay. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Probably gonna be a lot to cut out. Okay, so we're back now to enable TPM. Yep, as you can see. Had to redo that because I forgot to do it. Beautiful. Now it should automatically boot to the point where we need to get to. Okay, boys and girls, we're back. I was making sure everything is good. I'm gonna be wiping both of my NVMEs. Backed up everything. This is, I haven't done this since 2019, the end, right? Not the end like as in, you know, somebody's gonna die. The end of like 2019 been a long time windows 11 pro that looks good we're gonna be hitting accept and hit custom because i'm going to be deleting everything besides my easy store partition so uh just to make sure i don't mess this up i'm literally gonna pull out that yeah, i'm taking no chances i just pulled that drive out improper pull don't do that not safe not safe for home usage all right we got two drives partition one partition two all right we're, we're killing everything all right delete yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Delete it all. We're making new partitions. Go. Delete everything. You got this, Pablo. Go. Kill it. All right, now we got two drives. Oh, shit. Is that recording? Oh, thank God, because I don't remember which drive is which. I just realized how bad quality the wide-angle lens on this camera is, and it's not dirty. Yeah, the lenses don't look dirty, so... I'm going to do drive zero. I'm a believer of numbers in order, so the second install will be on drive one. But I think drive one was literally drive one, which is on the front of the motherboard. The other one's on the back, but it's fine. It's whatever. We, we live our lives, okay? Drive zero is what I'm going to install this Windows install on. Okay. That Windows work, it's magic. This was a better camera, all right? But I, don't, I didn't I didn't buy a new iPhone. Sorry. I didn't wake up on time. It sold out. Now I've just been lazy and stingy about getting it. I just finished reinstalling Windows. Rebooting now. Do, 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 do,
All right, so just finished installing Windows 11. Now we're gonna set this up. Mouse is working. Yes, you know, you'd see it's the right keyboard layout. Do I have the second one? No. It's crazy, this update makes Windows look like a Mac. The whole UI looks like a Mac. It's crazy. I really try to like make it look nice. Can I come up with a name? All right, I named the PC. Went to the next step without recording it, but it's named Stable. Because my main goal is stability. Does this trigger auto HDR? No, it didn't. Making sure. Definitely need to buy like a good RAM fan instead of doing what I'm doing right now. So, Jay. Shit. They want my password and everything. Initial impressions of Windows 11. And by the way, this is the HDR on this monitor. When they tell you you're paying $800 for 16 zones, this is the experience you're getting. It's a joke. I don't know why people act like it's so amazing. You either just don't use HDR on desktop or you get a Neo. So I'm still thinking what to do because it's a lot of money. I mean, it'd be nice. I'm just just thinking, just thinking what to do. I mean, I had a Neo. It's just that I can get a G9 pre tax for like 1117 with an EDU discount or military or whatever discount. You could technically keep this monitor as my main, put it on the side over here and get another 1440p. I could honestly just save a ton of money, you know, invest or work on new hobbies and stuff. I don't know, I don't know what I'll do. This is working how I expect an Intel computer to work from a fresh install. This is working great. This is how my friend's computers used to work. This is stock, wow. Now that's fast, dude. This is, this is good. Nothing's like mouse lagging. I used to have like mouse lag when I'd click around. This is really fast. And I'm running like 4.7 gigahertz. I'm not even running like overclocked or how it should be. 